Now that the setup is complete, you can plug the USB data logger into a port on the computer. To set up, click Set Up and start the USB data logger. You are presented with a number of options. First, you can give each data logger a unique name. This will help us keep track of a number of different data loggers you may have. Next, you can choose between degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. And then you have to choose how often you want the logger to take a recording. You will note with these options in brackets, it shows how long it will take the data logger to fill up with data. Once that is complete, click Next. On this page, you have a few options on the LCD. You can either have it off, on for 30 seconds after button press, or on at all times. Next, you can choose if you want the data logger to stop when it's full or whether you want it to roll over and continue to take readings. Once that is complete, click Next. The next page is Alarm Setup. You are going to set alarms for temperature, so click on the tick box here, which will allow us to get the high temperatures. Using the scroll down button here, choose the appropriate value. You will note to the right hand side that there is a tick box saying hold. This is a feature that will continue to show an alarm condition even if the temperature has returned to a normal condition. I will do the same for the low alarm and select the appropriate temperature. Then select hold for both of them. If you wish to not set up temperature alarms, leave the boxes unticked and click next. If it is a humidity logger, you can do the same for the relative humidity page, but I'm going to leave these for the time being. If you're using one of the thermistor probe loggers, there are options for the probe type as well. You just need to make sure that the selection matches the probe type you have. On this page, you can decide what restriction you want on stopping this logging session. You can choose between no restrictions, any user on this PC only, or by you on this PC only. This gives you the ability to control who has access to the data, but note that an administrator can overrule the setting if a user's rights do not allow them to stop a logger. They will not be able to regardless of the settings here. Once that is complete, click Next. Finally, you can set up how you want the data logger to start. You can start with an immediate start, a start when the data logger button is pressed, or select delay the start, which allows us to put a set time and date that you want the data logger to begin recording. Once that is complete, click Finish, and your data logger is now complete. Simply click OK to exit. Now you can take the data logger out of the USB port and place it in the desired location as it is ready to start taking data.